Hello and welcome to the Titus Timeout Podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and today we're going to discuss how diffuser inlet conditions affect performance, especially sound. Diffuser catalog data are based on ASHRAE test standards that require 10 equivalent duct diameters into the inlet. This is great for getting repeatable data that could be compared between manufacturers, but not very realistic. I mean, when was the last time you had 10 equivalent duct diameters in a ceiling plenum? So let's say this diffuser is cataloged as NC25. What does it really sound like when it's installed in a typical building? Well, that depends on your inlet conditions. The best installation would have three equivalent duct diameters going into the inlet with a 90 degree radius of flex duct. Even this installation will add one NC over catalog data. So in this installation, our NC25 catalog diffuser would actually sound like NC26 installed. And unless you have a six inch inlet, it's still not really feasible to have three duct diameters going into your diffuser. Okay, let's scoot this up and out of the way for now. The next best option would be a soft radius of flex duct, kind of like this. This will add about 3 NC to our diffuser data, so now it will be an NC28 installation. What we most often see is flex duct laying across the ceiling and turned over into the inlet. This hard 90 will do a couple of things. It will add 5 NC to the catalog data, bringing our diffuser up to an NC30. It will also affect the airflow from the diffuser. The airflow is going to come out and keep going in this direction. It's not really going to turn around and go back in this direction. So now you've also affected the comfort in the space. The worst case is when the flex duct is kinked. This is pretty common too. Even a small bend like this is going to force the air to one side of the duct where it can possibly out one side of the diffuser. This can add 7 to 9 NC to catalog data. So our diffuser that was cataloged at NC25 would sound more like NC32 or 34 installed like this. So let's scoot this over so we bring all of these installations back on screen. Different types of diffusers are affected differently, but these are good rules to use. A typical installation will probably add about 5 NC to cataloged diffuser data. So you should take that into consideration when selecting diffusers. So now you know how different inlet conditions can affect the sound of the diffuser. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking a time out with us.